Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about bionic eye or artificial eye. So bionic eye in the sense, it's also known as retinal implant. So you are having the artificial kind of eye here. So it's a retinal implant. So we are going to implant in retina. Okay. So it's a type of prosthetic device that is surgically implanted into the eye. So we are going to implant, you are, ma we are making the surgery and we are going to implant this particular eye, the device into the eye that will help to restore vision to people who have lost their sight due to the certain conditions such as retinitis pigmentosa or age related macular degeneration so that means wherever age related issues are there because of the muscular regen de degeneration or macular regeneration what we call or retinitis pigmentosa that is one of the uh, uh, kind of uh, kind of uh, problem where retina will lose its function okay so if in this particular issues are there so we will lose the person will lose his vision so if the person is lose his vision we need to restore his vision so what we can do the best thing what we can do to we can have the bionic eye or artificial eye what is artificial eye it's nothing but a retinal implant we are going to do the surgery and we, we are going to int introduce this bionic eye or artificial eye inside the eye to restore the vision understanding so illi bionic eye en andre so idu artificial eye tara okay artificial eye en andre idu retinal implant on the device irutte adu eye tarane act aagbeku adu retina retina tara retina de ella functions anna adu maadta maadbeku aa tara on the device anna nam maadi adanna retinal implant aagi use maartivi adanna nam surgery mukantara nam kannu olagade adanna fix maartivi so adrinda ಯಾವುದೇ ಯಾರ ಯಾರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ವಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ವಿಷನ್ ಅನ್ನೇ ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದು ಏಜ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ರೆಟನೈಟಿಸ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟೋಸ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಂದ ಕಂಡು ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ರೆಟೈನಾ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ನಿಲ್ಸಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ರೆಟೈನಲ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ರೆಟೈನ್ ನ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ಬಯಾನಿಕ್ ಐ ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಐ ಅನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಟಿಪಿಕಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಅರೆ that is attached to the retina that means the particular device okay now the retina is not functioning but we are giving the whatever the retina is required with the help of artificial implant that is retinal implant so now the, this retina should have a camera to capture the light processor to process the image and an electrode array to send the signal to the particular retina okay so we need have uh, three components what are camera processor and electrode array <coughs> now the camera capture what does camera do it captures the images and sends the signals to the processors now what does processor will do which then transmits the electrical stimulations to the electrodes now the electrical stimulations is uh, received by the electrodes they will then in the retina to stimulate they will then stimulate the remaining healthy cells to restore the vision so whatever in the retina healthy cells are there healthy cells are there but very minimum cells are there that's why we have lost vision so but here what it is doing it is waking them up whatever the remaining healthy cells are there no it is giving it is boosting them it is stimulating them with the help of these particular electrical signal uh, sig stimulations which is uh, done by the electrodes so that the vision will be restored now now the restored vision is not perfect actually but it can help people to with the vision loss to perform daily tasks and more easily and safely so we cannot say that with the help of the bionic eye we are give, giving the clear images no that may not be possible but it will be possible so that the person who lost his complete vision will be able to see things even though if it is blurry it will be like heaven for him so so that he can do the things uh, task daily tasks or day by day to day his life okay will be more easy and safe so illi en helta idappe andre bionic devices alli enella irutte components andre camera irutte processor irutte electrode array irutte camera enake to capture the light so processor enake to process the image okay electrode array enake alli signal electrical uh, stimulations iruttalla adanna naavu retina ge kodbeku retina ge enake kodbeku retina dalli iruvanta kelavondu healthy cells galu okay the retina kelsa maadutilla andre adu ella cells satogive antala 
ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸ ತುಂಬ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವನು ಆ ವಿಜನನ್ನು ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅವನು ಕ ಕಣ್ಣು ಅವನ ಸೈಟನ್ನು ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವನು ಅದನ್ನು ಆ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವನ ವಿಜನ್ ರಿಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ರಿಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ವಿಜನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಕೆ ಯಾವ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಗೆ ವಿಜನ್ನೇ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಕಣ್ಣೇ ಕಾಣ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಕಣ್ಣು ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಹೇಗಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಬ್ಲರ್ರಿ ಆಗಿ ಕಾಣ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವನಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಟಾ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅವನು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಸೇಫಾಗಿ ಅವನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬಯೋನಿಕ್ ಐ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬಯೋನಿಕ್ ಐ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರರ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೈ ಅವರ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬಯೋನಿಕ್ ಐ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಲಿಕಾನ್ or other semiconducting materials so semiconductor materials we need it for camera and electrode array so we are using it so we silicon matte other semiconductor material namge camera age athwa electrode array ge use agutte yakandre alli semiconductors beku adike nav silicon use madabodu athwa other semiconductor materials anna nav use madabodu eradane material so second material is bio compatible materials so since we are keeping the bionic eye inside our eye it should be compatible now all of you should be knowing by compatible because i have explained in first module third mo- for fourth module and fifth module okay so by compatibility is nothing but what the material when you keep in when you, uh, whatever the material you are keeping inside the human being it should not affect any other cells or tissues or organs inside our body basically it should not be harmful it should not cause any harmful effects to our body it should stay there inside our body it should function its function but it should not have any cause any effects to our health so bio compatible materials for casing of the devices and the electrode uh, arrays so casing in the sense the structure what we need like uh, for example so this is what we can say it as a case okay this round structure it can be case okay so that should be also bio compatible okay so or electrode array should be bio compatible such as for example titanium or titanium alloys these are bio these are proven bio compatible materials which can be used in electrode array to minimize the risk of infection or rejection by the body so now we infection or rejection anna kadime madbekadre bio compatibility achieve madbekadre now titanium titanium alloys anna use madabodu for a particular casing athwa electrode array ge bio compatibility andre eno anta nam already gottu so nimge gottilla andre just refresh martini namma body olige yavde material anna yavde functions alwagi nam hakid mele aa material namma body ya yavde part mele harmful effect maadbardu athwa ene eno en heltare infection anna induce maadbardu rejection aagbardu so adakke nam bio compatible material anta heltevi so next we are having conductive materials semiconductor over bio compatibility over next conductive materials so conductive materials like as uh, like for example like platinum iridium or gold for electrodes in the array uh, to provide efficient electrical stimulations uh, to the retina can be used so illi platinum iridium gold anna use madabodu salpa costly but that can be you uh, used, uh, used because we are restoring the vision so here application is very important that's why even though the things are costly they sh- uh, uh, they must be used there and the people obviously ready to buy because it's a matter of seeing things it's a matter of sight so conductive materials so like a platinum platinum iridium gold use martivi electron materials ge so that it will give you the efficient electrical stimulation to the retina so the retina we remaining health cells are there no? to remove that so it will give the if uh, the conductive materials are better so the electrical signal stimulation will be faster if it is faster then you can have the retina uh, se- healthy cells will activate faster next to polymers so polymers such as silico- uh, silicon or polyamide uh, you know for for insulation and protection of the electrodes and other components can be used so usually when you are using all these electrodes or other components everything for casing material and other things you might be needing some of the polymers okay 
so for that like for by compatibility applications and all for that we are going to use this particular polymer uh, you know polymers like silicon and polyamide so polyamide polymers and now use more because of the protection now do you do on top of the law the law and get components and the pack mark at the in the casing material your body after all the polymer and I use more to you because I did a by compatibility at the law so I have it so polymer is more by compatible than any other materials next optical materials such as glass or acrylic or for the lens uh, lens of the camera which can be used so acrylics we have studied hydrophilic acrylic uh, hydrophilic acrylic we studied in the previous class no those kind of for lenses we can be used optical materials next uh, by compatible and flexible materials that means electronic connection between the camera and the processing unit so and the between the processing unit and electrode array so for all these things we need the flexible materials because in connection should be there and they should be bio compatible so this is how exactly the working of bionic i looks like the camera captures the image and sends the information to the microprocessor so this is the camera okay here it captures the image and sends the information to the microprocessor now the intraocular implants which is kept here this is it so now the micro microprocessor here it is microprocessor which will process the the image which is sent by the camera and then electronic receiver implant uh, uh, will have the microprocessor that will do the function now the third one receiver sends signals through the tiny cables of electrode panels implanted by the doctors on back wall of the eye or retina <coughs> sorry so so that will be done after this now the microprocessor converts the data to the electronic signal and then transfer to the receivers now the receiver sends the signals through the a tiny cable to the electrode panel implanted which is by the doctor okay on the back of the wall now it's been done now it is here now the fourth retinal implant emits the pulses which travels through the optic nerve to the brain so now the retinal uh, now it has reached to the retina now the retina will uh, get uh, its uh, cells will healthy cells will get activated it will generate the pulses and now that will be transferred to the to, through the optical nerve to the brain okay that is the fourth step now the brain perceives the patterns of the light and dark which is corresponds to the electrode stimulation on the retinal implant so now the brain will start uh, processing it okay that's how you are going to get uh, understand the image understanding so if initially the camera captures it images and sends it uh, the information to the microprocessor it processes the image and then it will send the signals to the receiver now the receiver sends the signals to the uh, tiny cables which is connected to the uh, retina now in the retina it, uh, uh, here retinal implants it will emit the pulses so that it will travel through the optical nerve okay now this particular that will reach to the brain brain perceives the patterns of the light and dark and then it will understand if the any image is created okay illi in the camera capture image and the capture mode send madatte alli the microprocessor then process madatte receiver then tagondu hogi retina ge connect madatte illi retinal implant alli adanna pulse anna emit maadi adanna ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಪಲ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಇಂಪಲ್ಸಸ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ರೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬಯಾನಿಕ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ okay and the next topic will be heart as pump which is the major third topic that will be the last major topic of this module so it's in this module we are talking about we spoke about the brain and the eye the next topic will be the heart that's it for today